Hey, it's Talk To Me Tuesday, and you're kicking it with Slim. So, I said, scratch the other videos that I did, that I really need to get this video out, and put this out in the atmosphere. Because, honey, it's so much going down, and I don't think nobody's paying attention, because I be on the social media. And I see what y'all people talking about. And y'all ain't talking about none of this. It's like a select few of people who's actually talking about this stuff. It's a select few of people who's actually paying attention to what's going on. Stuff is going down, people, okay? And it ain't no coming back from this. Stuff is literally going to transpire in 2023. Okay, so... I'm going to just start off with my theory on what's going on. And then we're going to lay the information out to y'all. So, here's the possible outcomes for 2023. A nuclear warfare, which is, is definitely under wraps, okay? It's definitely under wraps. And I'm, I'm going to get into it. We got the facts for y'all, okay? We got the facts. A nuclear warfare... A purge don't think that's not possible please I, I keep telling you people this purge and some more catastrophic events you hear me this year alone has been some major catastrophic events that has transpired that hasn't transpired in hundreds of years so your local scientist is giving out this information okay Another thing that's deemed to happen, all you folks who went and got that, j -j -j -j, they coming for y'all, okay? They is coming for y'all, they're going to collect y'all up, and they're going to put y'all in these FEMA camps, you hear me? They coming for y'all, and they're going to put y'all in some FEMA camps, okay? And if they don't put you in the FEMA camps, they coming for y'all. Some way, some form, or some fashion with that. You shouldn't have took it, okay? You shouldn't have got the jab, baby. I ain't get it. Me and mine ain't get it. Meaning me and my daughter. A couple people in my family did. That's their personal business, not mine. Told them not to take it, okay? They is coming for y'all people. I got all the facts on that, too. They coming for y'all. Listen, I keep telling y'all. To start stocking up on water. To start stocking up on food. Because they trying to depopulate the world. I got an article on that as well. I'm telling y'all. It's mind blowing how crooked our government is. It's mind blowing. You hear me? It's mind blowing and it makes you don't trust anything that they say it don't make sure it don't want you to trust anything that they put out like i'm i would never you hear me i would never let these people have control of what i'm gonna put in my body i would never let these people have control over what vaccine i'm we, we not getting vaccinated we we ain't with that i just had to give a note to my daughter school for that we we don't do that over here baby oh but she had it before well because her mother was stupid then and my next kid won't be vaccinated either, okay? I'm not playing. Won't get mine. So, let's get in to what's going on. Let's start with this nuclear war there, okay? That's the first subject. The government, the good old government that we depend on daily just bought... 290 million worth of radiation pits. Why? I'll wait. Why? Why did they do that? What do we need 290 million radiation pits for? Why do we need that? I want to know. Why do we need that? Like, why? 
So why do we need 290 million radiation pills again? I'm so confused. Like, okay, yeah, I believe me. Remember my first video, I said that the state of New York put out a PSA telling their citizens what to do in case of a nuclear bomb. I said that, okay? That was, that was the first warning that they gave us. This was months ago. Now, your good government is getting radiation pills. Why? Why are they putting out these PSAs? Why are you getting radiation pills, okay? Now, a ship, a Russian ship went completely disappeared. Kaputo, okay? Now, this ship got some ish on it that can cause catastrophic disasters. The ship is in the Atlantic. So, this Russian ship, right, y'all? Whatever's on this ship is set up and made for nuclear warfare, right? So, when the ship disappeared, you know what I'm saying, government officials was panicking. They was in a frenzy. Okay? Because I would have been in a frenzy, too. Boom. The ship popped back up on the Atlantic. Now, Russia is drafting the citizens and people is fleeing, Okay? They is fruit, fruit. They trying to get out of there. Because they like, yo, we don't want no parts of this. This ain't back in the day. Like, them citizens don't want no parts. They want to go. Like, these men are fleeing. So, they're using facial recognition to find these um, citizens who's leaving and fleeing, right? Then, the pipelines that carries, that carries the natural gas to Europe mysteriously broke and Russia like we not fixing it like yeah we not doing that it's getting cold so that means Europe's natural gas resources is gone like you know what I'm saying the, the main source of their natural gas resources is gone and Russia like yeah we not fixing it oops okay so I gave you guys articles that you can go look up talking about all this nuke stuff okay like a nuclear bomb is not something we need but again they're trying to take us out covid ain't take people out fast enough they thought it was gonna work you know what i'm saying because they had that plan for a long long time okay obama warned us in 2014 about a pandemic that vaccine was made. That's how they had it made so quickly. 
it was already made. The vaccine was made by 2013. That's why it was so available to them so fast. And we're like, oh, they made it. That Duh. So if you don't think that this wasn't planned, I ain't going to even say what I think. <laughs> okay. Oh, use your brain, people. Okay. And this is why they wanted y'all to take them jabs. Okay. Now, they were saying that the people who took them jabs was supposed to turn into, like, zombies and whatnot. But I don't think that's likely to happen. Okay? I, 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 that one right there, it ain't, I didn't get it. No, I don't think that's likely to happen. But, and I, even though I do say that to people too, y'all gonna turn into zombies. <laughs> but what is likely to happen is what i'm about to tell you okay now all right y'all listening hope you're listening so let's just start with an article actually not even an article it's a bill that was passed in 2021 for the state of new york it's saying that the state of new york if they deem it fit that you fit the criteria of an epidemic or a pandemic that they can come in your house and get you and isolate you until you no longer have those symptoms. If you're a threat to the public, they can, they can come and get you. I hope y'all listening. I really do. It's about to get ugly. Okay? Listen. So they put that bill up, right? Cool. That's not cool, but cool. Let's move on. I got the article for that. Look that up, people. Okay? And read it in its entirely. It's really crazy. I was reading it. It was like, yeah, I'm happy I don't live there either. Okay? Because I'm not playing with people. Not at all. So, I've read another article. Or was it a video? I think it was a video, y'all. So, I saw another video that was saying that the government put out a patent on y'all who took that vaccine. So, they asked the Supreme Court, can they collect on that patent? What does that mean? They had y'all register saying what you took, when you took it. They know where you live. They have all your information. So when it's time to collect, they're going to put y'all in these FEMA camps. They're going to put y'all in these concentration camps. And ain't no telling what they're going to do to y'all. Ain't no telling what they gonna do to y'all when you get there. Okay? They gonna tell you one thing to get y'all there. And then when you get there, it's gonna be another thing. Listen, they're trying to depopulate the world. We don't have enough resources. Infiltration is high. Like, I'm telling you. Okay? I'm telling you, pay attention. So, they wanna hear something crazy? How about Russia has a bomb shelter, a safe haven, if you want to call it, for its people in case of an emergency, like a nuclear bomb, a nuclear warfare, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. But yet, the government of America wants to order $290 million worth of pills. I'm still still stuck on that part right there. Like, so you expect the citizens to dump these pills. Radiation pills. The next thing you know, you're going to be on a commercial. Like, if you took the radiation pills in 2022 or 2023, please call for compensation. Like, what? Yeah, right. Suggest that... If you have the extra funds to start preparing for certain things like 
looking up radiation suits and radiation masks and like be prepared people like I kid you not I already started with small stuff but it look like I'm gonna have to go big and it's just like yeah I ain't even got time to be messing around or playing with anybody because this stuff is gonna happen like that nuclear stuff they talking about they planning something with that I'm telling you it's going down and technically ain't gonna be no no way for most people where it ever is go at like it depends on where they hit they hit missiles and hit big cities and stuff like surrounding cities on the east coast we done up done up you hear me done like a bun so i ain't got no time listen to all the people who took the little jet i think they want to start doing all these trying to do gun control and trying to do all this taking away rights and stuff that we got like y'all gotta pay attention i've asked people who took them jabs to stay aware to stay prepared strap up suit up boot up because it's going down baby if they get the okay to come seize people on that pattern first of all they're gonna have the it, it, it's going to get crazy. Like, it'll literally be a civil war here. Like, people ain't... Some people ain't going for that, okay? You hear me? Some people is ready, okay? Some people is ready, and they is not going for none of this stuff. It's a lot of people. Black, brown, blue, white, yellow, tan. They all waking up to this stuff, okay? Another word of advice... I said this before, and I'm going to say it in every in video that I can see it in. Please start getting prepared, people. Start stocking up on food. Start coming up with a secondary plan just in case of a nuclear bomb. Just in case these people think about coming up in your houses, coming to get y'all because they told y'all to take the vaccine. Okay, you did what was best for you at that time, but when the time comes for them to try to collect on you, baby, don't let them collect on you. Okay, stand up for your stuff and stand up strong. So when I mean be prepared, I mean be prepared in all ways. Start stocking up on weapons too, baby, because they're going to be needed. So start stocking up on medical supplies as well, okay? When I mean medical supplies, I mean band-aids, I mean alcohol, I mean peroxide. And I'm saying you can go to the Dollar Tree and get a real big peroxide for like a dollar and twenty-five cents, okay? You can start stocking up on essential oils. I'm not sure if y'all know about essential oils, but I'm going to give you a little one-on-one -on -one right now. Peppermint oil is a good essential oil to have. Argan oil is a good essential oil to have. Ginger oil is a good essential oil to have. The ginger root itself is good to have in your house. Garlic is good to have in your house. And I'm talking about fresh garlic, okay? Like, that's another good thing to have in your house. Lemons, that's another good thing to keep in your house. Like, it's so many different things that you can use to start stocking up on to help. So, when you're looking for alcohol, make sure you get the highest proof alcohol. You can go to Walmart and they have like a 91% proof of alcohol. And it's like a big bottle for like two something. Um, rosemary, that's an also a good thing you can have in your house as well. Okay, people? And of course, make sure you get water. Okay? Get tissue. Get two-piece. Like, I even start buying big seasonings. Instead of buying the little one, I'm buying the big one. Just in case I got to be in this house and I can't go outside. Or we have to like, you know, hunker down in here. Baby, we going to have. Yes, we is. We're going to have, okay? Like, I, I I may think it sounds a little nutty to y'all, but I'm telling you, she is going to be prepared in all ways. So, imagine being in your house and you got nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got enough water. You ain't got enough food. You ain't got enough tissue. You ain't got enough toothpaste. Like, just imagine being home, can't go outside as a parent. You're going to get desperate. 
And then you're going to go outside. And the chances of you making it back inside, depending on what's going on outside, is truly going to be slim. Because people are going to be in a panic. Okay? A panic. All because they're not prepared. And the ones that's prepared, they're not going to be in a panic. They ain't going to be in a frenzy. They're going to be home, waiting, ready to take action. Okay? Be prepared people at all costs. Even if you start with just a little bit. Like, because that's how I'm starting. I'm starting with just a little bit. I get a little bit at a time. Okay? So, I'm going to put y'all up on another thing that I do. So, since I started doing these YouTube videos and research and everything, and everything is starting to click, 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 click. It's clicking all back in, okay? And it's all adding up. All the infrastructure, all everything is all adding up. And I'm like, yes, sis, you've been playing around for a couple of years. Like, you don't really know what's going on in the world. Like, you don't really pay attention to what's really going on in the world. It's time to start playing. So, I came up with a cook list, right, y'all? I put down what I'm going to cook every month, all of these. So, I start off, whatever, whatever day I start my little list off, I'm like, okay, today's this day. I try to do it in the beginning of the month, so that way it won't be so hectic. During the month, trying to figure out what to cook. So, my cook list is done for this month. Like, we had tacos. I did want to touch on the catastrophic events that's going on too as well. But I just feel like I need a whole video on it entirely own for that. Because I just want to go down the list of events that's been taking place since like June. And I was giving it to y'all in little bits and pieces in the video. But I just need y'all to pay attention to the weather as well. Because that is also playing a major part in what's going on. I'm telling you. They are trying everything in their power to depopulate this planet. Okay? And in the article I read, it said that the people who live in Japan and China and in North Korea is more receptive to survive a depopulation because they're more basically controlled. Like they can easily be controlled. So, I do think the purge is going to happen. I do. Um, I'm just waiting to see how a couple more events going to fold out for me to be like, yeah, this is really going down in 2023 because I'm waiting because, you know, I'm waiting to see other current events. Like, you know, things lead up to certain things. You just got to pay attention to this. So, I'm waiting to see the universe gonna sprinkle some more stuff out there for me to see but i do think it is a possibility to happen because in the movie the whole point of the purge was to depopulate the world that's what their agenda is right now anyway because it's too many of us so i don't put that past them with doing something like this and i might as well say it's going on anyway look at the crime Look at the murder rates. So, y'all look this information up. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to come kick it with Slim. Y'all already know the mottos. But I am going to make sure that I am frequent with these videos as the current event is going up. I do like to fact check my information because y'all know Destiny ain't taking nobody words for me. Okay? I need to make sure you know what you're talking about. Because some things I be looking at and it, it don't even be what they putting it out there to be. So I do make sure I do my research. That's why it be taking me so long to get these videos out. Because I'm not spreading false information. We're going to give you the truth. Okay? So make sure y'all research this information. Make sure y'all take a look at the things that I said in this video. Make sure you start getting some of those things. And peace.